Hey, what's going on everybody? So Django 5.0 brought us some new features and in this video, I wanna talk about the concept of field groups and field group templates, which help us optimize how we render out our model forms within Django. So in this video, we're gonna look at the documentation, we'll see the old way of doing things and then the new way of doing things, and then we'll get right into the code and actually implement this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start directly from the documentation and see what's going on here. So in this section, we see the old way of creating a form right here with all the field elements and then the new way that's gonna be simplified like this. So in the old way of doing things, what we would have to do is access the form and then access the field here. And this would actually render out the field for the email. Then if we want any errors to go with that, we would call form.email.errors. And we can also do that for the label, any help text and so on. So each item has to be rendered out manually. Now in the new way of doing things, what we can do is call this method right here as field group. And we can just call form dot email dot as field group. And this is gonna render out all those form elements automatically for us. So we don't actually have to select all of those. So it really cleans up this code. If you look at the difference between this two right here, where we have to have these conditions, it makes it quite messy. And this new method of doing things or this new way is very, very clean. So what I'm gonna do here is go into my code base and actually build this out. So we have this minimalist code that I set up here. So we have a template with nothing in it. We have a model for our person. We have a name, email, and bio field. And then we have a model form here is called person form. And in the view here, we simply render out this person form as form. So if I go into my template here and render this out, we just see user form. And let's just start with the old way of doing things. So what I like to do is go ahead and first render out my form tags. And I typically like to just loop through my fields here and render those out automatically. So I would say something like for field in form, and we would create the end for close that tag here. And typically I would do something like this where I can just do field dot label. And if I just try this, this is going to render out all the labels for these fields. And then if I want the actual field itself, just do something like field, and then we can throw out, let's say field help text. So we'll do field dot help underscore text. And I don't think we have any right now, so I have to double check that. But if I render this out, this is how everything looks for me right now. So I'm actually accessing each field here. Now, what I could do is go ahead and just comment this out and make sure that we have nothing here. So for now, I'm just gonna remove that. And in the new way of doing things, we can just go ahead and call field dot as underscore field underscore group. And this is gonna give us the same result with one line of code right here. So it's gonna render out all of this plus more. So let's go ahead and actually refresh this. So if I refresh it, we get the same output. So if I wanna go ahead and go into my model here, let's go ahead and add in some help text here. So we'll say help underscore text, and we'll just say add bio here. And this is gonna get rendered out with this form group field right here as well. So if all of that's saved, if I refresh it, here we go, now we see add bio here, and this is a much cleaner way of doing things. So now I can get rid of all of this, and with three lines of code, this is all rendered out. So that's all I wanted to show for today. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next video.